Okay, the second test we're covering today is soil pH. Soil pH is simply a measure of soil acidity or al alkalinity. It's very important on soil health, affects yields, affects crop suitability, etc. Uh, the next section in there covers inherent factors of soil for soil pH, and those are primarily your soil texture, uh, your climate area, etc. Uh, so areas that are higher in rainfall tend to have lower pH. Areas lower rainfall, like western Nebraska, would have would have higher pH. Uh, uh, <clears throat> also, soils that are higher in clay and organic matter have more ability to buffer or resist a change in pH versus soils that sandy soils uh, that are low in organic matter will very easily change. Uh, the next one talks about management of soil pH. Uh, so we have uh, management can include liming if we need to raise it. Uh, can uh, also include proper management of our fertilizers because if we over apply nitrogen or sulfur fertilizers it can lower your pH. Uh, <clears throat> so again doing that in proper amounts. Uh, managing our irrigation water, managing manure applications, all of those things are important. One important thing for students to understand is that forested areas intent, tend to be uh, lower in pH versus grassland areas like in the Midwest, the Great Plains tend to have uh, slightly higher pHs. Uh, <clears throat> the first table lists some of the common crops uh, and uh, what level of pH they like and, and which is best for productivity. For example, corn, a 6.8 would be ideal. Uh, next talks about the problems related to soil pH and primarily uh, it's going to impact your nutrient availability, uh, impacts uh, your soil microbe or microbial activity, impacts crop yields, uh, also can lead to de deterioration in soil health. Uh, covers some of the uh, four primary things that you can do when applying uh, phosphorus, for example, for applying phosphorus frequently in small amounts, reducing contact between soil and phosphorus. Some of the key things that you need to understand on managing for soil pH. Uh, the other tables, figure one, excuse me, figure one, figure two, show the, the uh, nutrient uh, relationship availability between soil pH and most of our nutrients uh, ideally want to have close to a neutral pH around a 7. Uh, shows phosphorus availability uh, relative to pH ranges when we get to the lower levels uh, of pH more acid it fixes phosphorus by aluminum and iron also all the higher pHs like we may have in western Nebraska would fix uh, to calcium.